I'll give us the 60 second spiel of what Slack does rather than the five second spiel. Okay. Uh, well, there's two big benefits that you get from um, moving conversations from a mode where you're addressing individuals or groups of individuals to addressing a channel, which can be a topic, a project, an office, um, a functional discipline, or whatever. Uh, the first is that channel exists before you're a member and it continues to exist after you leave, and so those messages are accessible to everyone. And that means that there's a lot of lateral transparency. So one of the, you know, the big areas of effort for management in general, and executives in particular, is facilitating lateral information flow across an organization. So things get escalated to a manager, the next morning stand-up meeting that gets communicated across to some other manager, and then it goes back down. When teams are using Slack, and anyone can just look into any other part of the company, which might sound terrifying to some people, but if anyone can just look into any other part of the company, uh, the engineers can see what the designers are working on next, or the marketing team can see what conversations the sales team is having, and where they're falling down and need better enablement materials, or the technical operations team can see what's coming up for customer support and what might be an issue that they need to look into. So that's one, uh, and that's a, that's a really big one. The other one is that the steady effort that people put into communication over the course of a day, which might, for uh, you know, entry-level worker might be 30% of their day. When I say effort that goes into communication, I mean reading and writing emails and functional specs and documentation and looking up stuff on the wiki and having a meeting and writing a status report, all of that kind of stuff. Um, at, the, at the higher end, at the executive level, it's probably 90, 95% of your job is spent on communication. Uh, all of that produces something of value to the organization, and that value accretes over time because the archives are accessible. So when someone joins a team where the primary means of communication is email, they get an empty inbox, despite the fact that there may have been millions or tens of millions or hundreds of millions of messages exchanged before the point that they got there. When someone joins a team using Slack, that whole archive is accessible. And I think just those two advantages are so large that the, the movement towards this kind of system for internal communication is inevitable.